Looks like our good deed has already brought back some wildlife, but... Suppose I spoke too soon. It flew to that structure. There must be a way up. If we keep going this way, I believe we'll reach that air dragon's lair. Yeah. Just making sure you know where you're going. Thank you. I have to get past those vines somehow. Then we must get closer. <clears throat> Meeting the Lady of the Forge really brought back some memories. I thought it was only in my homeland you'd see such things. Mermaids who forge weapons. Aye. I remember very fondly a lakeman called Nimble. Very talented with a sword. Oh, yeah. I meant that literally. Shame on you. She made the best swords in all the isles and had big dreams about what she'd do with them one day. I wonder what became of her. The ogre is near. This may be our last chance to prepare. We fight! Good. What's your night? From behind! It's coming!
was ours, you opportunistic sod. It's returned to its perch. Let's pursue it. Something is on your mind. What is it? Freyr's sword. I'm glad he got it back. Odin stole it? Not quite. It couldn't be stolen. It had to be given freely. Freyr had it forged in his younger days, imbued with its own motives and passion. For centuries, he swore he would only ever set it down. In death, or upon meeting the love of his life. Both he and the sword were romantics, you see. Pass open. That dragon is shaking in its scaly boots, I suspect. Once we approach the dragon, we will kill or be killed. Understood. More than you know. Let's go! Ogre's not getting up anytime soon either. With the dragon dead, the wildlife will return. Nature has been set to rights. And with that, we've now taken down about half the dragons in this crater as well. <laughs>